Hello, my beautiful Leo dragons. Welcome to your soul journey reading for January. Uh, well, from the time you get this until the next one. Um, so it's sort of mid-January to mid-February-ish. Really, it's whenever you get it. So if you happen to come and find this video and it might be months or years old, you're obviously meant to view it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Um, so this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and um, North Node. So North Node is your soul's direction. So let's go ahead and see what's come out for you guys. So this one lonely card came out way over here. And so this is the Three of Cups, and it was sort of sideways. So with this Three of Cups, it's almost like, um, I feel like you may have either lost or gained some sort of community. So when it's, when the Three of Cups is in reverse, it's, um, it's sort of about like, um, gossiping or it could mean an affair. Um, but it's something, just no support, right? So you've just sort of been blocked, right? Like you're, something big has happened and something sort of took something away from you. When it's in the upright, it's about friendship and community and gatherings and joy. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more around why this card is back here for you. You have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, Leos, I'm wondering if this is you or if this is who you're dealing with. Um, when the Queen of Wands is in reverse, um, it can be very sort of stubborn and aggressive. Um, and even, you know what it could be? That you were lashing out when you were hurt. So whatever this was, okay, so I'm gonna, I am gonna turn this sideways. Something happened and you came and you were lashing out. You became very um, mean and sort of vindictive and very, yeah, look, you were taking, um, you became reckless and very much taking risks and just sort of because you were just like, well, forget it. So whatever happened here um, in your friend circle or in your um, life, whatever happened to upset this, you just sort of went off and yeah, the fool in reverse, death. Wow, great card to have after this. You saw how you were behaving and you were like, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna do this. I am not going to keep, it's like, I get this. So something happened that made you sort of go, no, this isn't who I am. This isn't who I want to be, right? This isn't, um, you just knew that it wasn't you. And so you, like, I feel like these cards are very much, yeah, look at this over there. King of Swords, you became, um, you, you, you sort of just overrode. Yeah, okay, I'm being told to put this here. Because from the death and rebirth, you sort of went inside and you healed from whatever this is, or you are still in the healing process. You looked at it logically and you found the truth and integrity, okay? And you are thinking clear, right? And you decided to not take these crazy risks. You decided to plan and, um, and, and you just became more focused on, um, on your goals rather than whatever that was. Something really hurt you. It's either in your friend group or um, something, you know, like I said, it could have been um, something to do with a relationship you were in. Somebody could have cheated, you know, uh, you know, there's all of that. So, um, or maybe you were the one, hopefully not doing the cheating, okay? But whatever it is, you realized it wasn't you, okay? Like, you realized that's not you because, look, now you have a judgment. So, it's sort of like this moment of truth came out. So while you were sitting here in this King of Swords energy, now you don't have to be a male to have this energy. It's just a masculine energy. And you sort of saw the truth. You were like, you had this sort of grand awakening and you were able to look back with clarity. And all of these bonds that you had here sort of got released. 
So I'm, this is a beautiful reading, guys. Yeah, the Five of Cups. So I think that you actually were able to grieve whatever happened. I think that here, because you were so angry, you weren't able to, and you actually took the time to truly heal. So it's funny because you go from Cups, which is more love, to Wands, which is fire, right? And then you move through it into Swords, which is more thought, and finally you're arriving back at Cups again. So you're healing your emotions, you're healing your heart, you're healing your 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 mind with love, you're healing your ideas of friendships, yeah. And then you have the Chariot. I think as soon as you start healing, you start realizing that... Um, that this is making you happy, that this healing is allowing you to move on and you're moving on quite quickly. I think that you might not actually be expecting to realize or you haven't realized how quick you're moving on because you're taking the time to heal. Guys, this is a beautiful reading. The Seven of Swords in reverse. So you were seeing where um, you were over overwhelmed, maybe where you were a little bit overprotective, but for the wrong reasons right? And it's also about you seeing where you had weak boundaries. So you're, you're sort of racing through and you're continuing to heal. Yeah, and you have the two of pentacles, guys. So this is about choosing um, options. So finally, this comes in, which is great, because finally, we have a pentacle that's come in to create a really balanced reading. So um, money might be coming in from a few different sources for you. Um, but it's really about adapting, managing your time, and it's about um, it's about making sure that as you're going through all this, that you still remain careful because it's very easy to move back to into resentment, right? It's very easy to go back into the space, but you are moving ahead into this um, beautiful Two of Pentacles energy, right? So twos are about balance and harmony and making positive choices and decisions, right? So you're moving into a much better space. And I just have to say, you know what, Leo? Like, if you haven't said it to yourself, you need to tell yourself that you're proud of yourself because whatever you've made it through, it was hard. And and you made it, right? Yeah, like, these cards came out just as I said it was hard. So let's see exactly what it is. Yeah. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is working hard. That's so funny. This is working hard and the eight of pentacles is the best card for moving forward you're leaving it behind you're using you're you're finding new purposes new paths new just just new right and you're working on your goals i think that this was sort of a freeing thing you got freed from something that was very heavy and it didn't seem like it at the time because you turned against it and you lashed out but then it came back and now that you can look back on it, you can see, I think, how much it was holding you back, right? It really took you out of your power. Now, you do have the Queen of Cups in reverse, and you have the Star. Um, I would say, just with the Queen of Cups in reverse, just make sure that you have healed your heart so that when you choose to move ahead with whatever relationships you have, Okay, make sure that you are emotionally secure. Make sure that you are independent. Okay, and make sure that you um, that, that you don't get involved or that you don't have any relationship for the wrong reason. Okay, so just make sure that you're really emotionally um, because the Queen of Cups in reverse is somebody who is emotionally insecure. And after all of this, like you've done a ton of work and I think you understand, you might still have to go in and just um, really do some healing because the star is about the calm after the storm. Okay, it's about hope and it's about life falling back into place. So I think you just have one last little realization that you need to make, which is really healing your heart. It's really healing yourself. So think about yourself with all your relationships and going and healing and moving ahead with them, okay? And releasing the ones that don't serve you anymore, right? Can I please have a card for Leo? There we go. Oh, two. 
two cards. Yeah, so we have the root chakra, so ground and center. Um, so once you get into the king of swords energy, because swords is very much up in the air, it's up in the mind, and the grounding, this is about your pentacles. So when you talk about the queen of cups, this is talking about your root. This is talking about anything um, that, not just that this allowed you to happen, but watch if you do have a, a, a tendency to be codependent in relationships. Go look that up if you don't know what that means. Um, go and figure out why. And it usually comes from the root chakra develops from the time that you are um, one, from zero to six years old. So um, sort of go back in your childhood. There's something called the Hopoponono meditation. And it's about asking your inner child or your subconscious for forgiveness. And once you do that, like it's amazing, it's very powerful, but also going through and seeing who created that in you, right? Because then you have luminescence. It's like, I think you need to really step back and realize exactly how beautiful you are. I think that you really need to step back and realize how, how majestic that you are. And um, all I see is with this luminescence, I see the star. You need to see um, truly how powerful you are and truly how beautiful that you are so that when you move ahead, you do move ahead without dependency so that all of your relationships enhance because of whatever happened, right? So don't let this take you down, make this raise you high up, uh, make this raise you up higher. Okay, Leo. So please do like and subscribe. I do appreciate your support for my tiny channel. Please also share. Um, I love it when I hear that somebody had referred me. So I do appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you in your next reading.